Do you like Transformers movies? Their heartwarming plots, memorable characters, and humorous delight? Those movies don't have any of that. But if you wish they did and you like giant robot-packed action, we've got some anime for you. First up is Gurren Lagann. Set in a deep underground village where the surface is said not to exist, Simon digs holes day in and day out in an effort to help expand the village. This all changes after the village is attacked by an enormous gunman, but to his luck, Simon stumbles upon a mech of his own. Joined by the eccentric Kamina and a gun-wielding Yoko, the three protect the village and escape to the surface for an unforeseen epic adventure that extends far beyond space. If you want something with super engaging, massive robots, and ridiculous humor, Gurren Lagann is an excellent place to start. The Transformers movies are known for their action, right? Here you'll find robot on robot action you could only dream of having without animation. Its over-the-top plot is constantly raising the stakes and expanding the world. What well, was special about this show was it wasn't afraid of being over-the-top. Like, I feel like even with, like, shows as over-the-top as, like, Dragon Ball Z, there's still, like, some some groundedness to it, where this one was like, nope, we're going over top. I mean, you get to the point where you're just like using planets to fight. Like you're like, you're like no, we're, we're going all the way with this. I do like just like pure over the top action with characters that are always pointing at the sky anime, and, and that one certainly tends to hit those particular bullet points. None of them ever believed that there was life beyond the underground, and getting out to the surface was the dream. And then they get out to the surface and it's just all bad, you know? Like, things are all after them, you know? But, but they realize that there is more to it. The best anime ever created. Quote me on that. Second is Uruka 7, or Eureka 7. People say it differently. Renton is a teenager trapped in a backwater town with a mundane life until a large mechanical robot crashes into his room. He immediately falls for its pilot, Uruka, and after a promising show of talent, is invited to be her co-pilot and join the mercenary group Gecko State, where his long-awaited adventure finally begins. It's also about Renton's growth as a character because he's not without faults. He's immature, naive, not the greatest pilot, and he cries. He cries a lot. It's about his journey into adulthood and learning to accept others for who they are. Renton starts off as a really whiny little boy, um, and then he kind of like grows to be a man. He ends up, you know, being our hero um, and saving the day. You have a teenage boy that somehow, due to whatever going is going on, accidentally winds up in the robot suit, and with no training at all, is like, holy crap! I can pilot this thing. Urka 7 is a perfect example of the robot genre. It's got all the basics you need. It's got a young boy who's refusing the call to heroism, but eventually has to accept it and gets a mech that's powerful and shows off his ability to be awesome. And it's got cool girls and mechs who are also fighting characters and a mysterious villain who's in the coolest mech, but has kind of got a whole thing going on. There's also surfing on the air that they do, which is really cool. Anybody who reads Marvel Comics knows that adding a flying surfboard to anything makes it amazing. Don't worry, you'll get your robots. And not just any robots. Sky surfing robots along with heart pounding action your body craves. Grease your gears because next is Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Mars has been successfully colonized by humans, but in order to improve its living conditions, Cadelia hires a private security company to escort her to Earth to negotiate the Red Planet's independence. Mikazuki and his comrades accept the mission and the threats of war attached to it. Gundam is a huge franchise, making Iron-Blooded Orphans an excellent entry port since it's a self-contained story. But be warned, this is not a show for kids. It's a show about kids, but violent enough it should stay away from kids. Let's take Mika for example. He's our main protagonist, easygoing, devoted to his comrades, and an all-around great character. But he's also a stone-cold killer. He shows no remorse towards his enemies, nor hesitation, not even guilt afterwards. The anime also addresses the terrible territory of child soldiers and how cruelly they're treated. Mika and his ragtag team of orphans fight to obtain their freedom and take the task of escorting Cordelia to Earth themselves. They're not a formal security force and they're barely a force at all, but this is a story about survival. You've got action, drama, and then giant robots. So, doesn't get any better than that.
it occurs 300 years after most of the action in the Gundam series happens. Mars has been colonized um, by Earth and uh, Earth is not uh, interested in giving Mars uh, their independence and so there's, uh, there's a big conflict going on there. You've got sort of this ragtag band of, uh, of kids, literal children, all 18 and under, some around 18, that have, have access to one Gundam and some military means, and they're sort of trying to escort this princess around. It's crazy, super good, but it's all about sort of military fascism and um, classic rebellions. It's very, very Rebel Alliance Empire sort of stuff going on. Neither side is completely good or bad. It makes me think about war now and how much miscommunication there could be and how much bitterness and then this this conflict just keeps perpetuating, you know. If you like Star Wars, you probably like Gundam because of the space battles and the very similar themes throughout. The more you watch Gundam, the more into Gundam you'll be. Last is Rebuild of Evangelion. It follows teenager Shinji as he's coaxed by his estranged father into piloting a giant mecha known as Evangelion Unit 1. He must then defend what remains of Japan from equally giant creatures called angels, but he can't do it alone. He'll need to team up with his classmate Ray and other reliable pilots along the way. Rebuild of Evangelion is a retelling of the original Neon Genesis Evangelion series. It's been reanimated with new scenes, settings, and characters, and it's pretty freaking awesome. And that is another sort of classic, I think, late 90s mecha show that is really beloved. I mean, it is um, really weird, too. That show, in particular, was one of those shows that influenced mech anime that came after it. You know, so you don't, like, you don't, and there's a lot of anime around in a lot of different genres, you know. For mech, it started with Gundam, but in terms of, like, the newer wave, you know, when Eva came out after Eva, like you would see stuff that was like Eva because it was so different. It's one of those animes that kind of flips. Like it, it feels like it's pretty surface, like you know what's going on and then halfway through you're like, oh wait, and the character relationships start to get more developed and that sort of thing. And then by the end, you don't really know what's going on, but it's great. If you want to get into Mecha, it's a, it's a great place to, to get in there, especially like a little bit of weird storylines. I think the only thing we're lacking now are robots in disguise. Ah, but that's where the classic Robotech comes in. Giant robots that easily transform into vehicles whenever you need a quick ride to Starbucks. Have fun building your Gundam models out there. And we'll see you all again soon. You can find all of these anime on different streaming services right now, but if you want to see some brand new English dubs that you can't see anywhere else, check out shows like Full Metal Panic on Funimation Now, Funimation streaming service. And the first 14 days are free, so check out that link below. This show actually throws a soldier with no social skills into a school to protect a young girl. How civil. Mm, indubitably. Indeed. Mm -hmm. How very anime of it. How very mecha. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm.